Hey guys, hope you're having a great day so far and happy Thursday. Um, thought I would do a little unboxing. I just got another uh, another package today. Um, I ordered a few of the, um, I don't know what we call it, Hallorismus or something like that because um, I got a mix of Halloween stuff and a mix of uh, Christmas stuff. Uh, from the line, so uh, we'll kind of show you what I got. I already posted a picture of what I got, but I thought, ah, but they're doing a, a haul video when I get, when I get home. Um, to start off with, uh, picked myself up a big bottle of cinders. Uh, this, without a doubt, is my probably in my top three shower gels. Um, bubbly and Santa's Christmas is definitely still at the top, uh, and I do have a few bottles that left, even though I know they didn't come out this year. Um, I really have enjoyed this. Uh, the smell of the pumpkin, I, I know I've said this before, but this reminds me of our farm. <laughs> the scent actually reminds me of our farm when we go into the house. Um, so it's got that warmy home feeling, uh, you know, the pumpkin, the spices, all that stuff, the, uh, the maple syrup. I know I, I can actually smell the maple syrup in this. I don't know if that's because I'm Canadian or whatever it is, but I can definitely smell the maple syrup in this. Uh, so if you're looking for one that's really good this year, uh, Cinders is your best bet. So I'm still working I'm actually still working on the, the 250 mil uh, bottle that Lush sent us in our first look Lushy package and I've probably almost used just over a quarter of it I probably would say I'm almost to the halfway point and it's only been about a week um, but I'm finding that I'm using it way more more and more than my other ones so I had to pick up another bottle to last me through till hopefully Christmas we'll see but um you know that boxing day sale that maybe is coming maybe you know sometimes we're not sure if it is or not but hoping there'll be a few bottles of this still left to get uh the other shower gel I haven't tried yet uh is sleepy and I did get a, a big ball to try uh, I did open it up at work because I was too anxious to see what it smelled like and it smells like twilight <laughs> it's got the twilight smell in it uh did a little bit different than uh last year's twilight shower gel that came out for christmas uh this one's a lot thicker uh very very thick as you can see um yeah i i i smell lavender. i already smell twilight smell the lavender smell the tonka so <laughs> it's definitely one i'm gonna try out this uh next little while i love this scent i really do enjoy this scent very relaxing this this one and twilight because I brought the bottling because I wanted to try it. I forgot to actually, let's see. So there's that one. I've been using this bottle. And then, I know some people said that this one has a little bit more of a stronger smell because it is way more liquider, li liquider, liquider. Yeah, I just invented words. Um, <laughs> so it's got a little bit more, uh, more watery substance to it. Um, this is definitely more of a cream substance to it. I can smell, they're both sell, smell the same to me. Um, I almost kind of prefer, not that I'm judging, um, but I do kind of prefer this one. I like the cream feeling to it. Uh, I know someone said, I think it's like almond milk or something. Oat milk, sorry, oat milk that's in here. Um, so I, I like this, I like the consistency a little bit better, even though I haven't tried it, I'm gonna try it tonight. I do find though that <laughs> as, a, uh, as a guy that uses Lush, I, will use this i do enjoy it um these two like i know the same scent but i save them for my evening showers <laughs> if i get home from the gym and i haven't showered yet i'll use this one to like have an evening shower just because it is so relaxing um i'm not gonna lie to you any guys that's looking for a shower gel just to relax you in the evening this is your go-to right here all right um it's awesome i i haven't even used this one yet um but i do know the scent and i really do find that it's relaxing uh so sleepy now, the other things, what did I get? Well, I did get another Yognog bubble bar. I haven't even used the first one that came in the other package the other day, but I fell so in love with the smell that I knew that I was gonna have to get another one. Bath season hasn't started yet here for me. Bath season, yeah, I'm sorry. Bath season just hasn't started. Um, as it gets a little bit more colder, I mean, Canada gets cold pretty quick. Um, as it gets a little bit more cold up here, um, this is gonna come into play. I can't wait to actually try this one out um, and the other one that I have in uh, in my cupboard. But uh, I know I, I can smell through the plastic. And this is one, everyone keeps joking that this is one of the hardest ones not to take a bite out of. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoy this scent. I do, there's part of me that does wish that I had um, bought a body lotion from the Lush UK website, but 
I'll stick with this one for right now. So another another yog nog, yog nog yule log. Ah, say that three times fast. Okay, what else did they get? Oh, now this one I actually posted. When I posted the picture and mentioned that it was Blake Velasquez, I got a comment that said if you like Ghost in the Dark, which I'll talk about in a second, um, you're gonna like Baked Alaska. So Baked Alaska, citrus, like it. This is the first time I've actually uh, purchased a piece of Baked Alaska. So I didn't get any last year. I was going to in the two for one sale or in the two, in the Boxing Day sale. And uh, I just didn't, I didn't pick it up. And then by the time I thought, oh yeah, I'll go get some, it was gone, out of, out of stock. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I, it's even like melting in my hands, which is awesome. Uh, so if any of you have tried this before, uh, let me know what you think of it. I know a lot of people have and they said uh, once you have this one, you won't go back to any others. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a try. Now, last one. The Halloween, the Halloween season, the Halloween products. Um, this was a tough one, but I'm going to show you guys. This was the surprise hit. Ghosts in the Dark. I had to get two of them. I liked them so much. Um, I thought when I, when, when I, when I purchased the, uh, when I purchased the Halloween, when I purchased the Halloween products, um, I thought for sure ectoplasm was going to be my number one favorite. I thought I was going to have to buy like five bottles of it and I like it. I like ectoplasm. Um, but I think for, I think I'm going to be a one and done though. I have the big bottle. I'm going to use it up over the next few months. I'm enjoying it. It's good. Um, but it's not one that I'm like, oh, I wish I had, I'm going to wish I had an extra bottle of it later. I don't know. I know many of you out there are, um, ectoplasm fans. You absolutely love it. I'm an ectoplasm fan. Don't get me wrong. I do. I'm enjoying the scent. I'm enjoying what it is. Um, I just found that it, the scent didn't last very long on me. Uh, it was great out of the bottle, but it just, yeah, it just didn't, I don't know. Maybe I had too many, too much expectations in my head. However, Ghost in the Dark. This was the surprise for me. All of a sudden, when I got the, when we had our first Look Lucky Lush packages uh, for the Halloween season, I saw this, I saw it, and I was just like, oh, that's kind of cool. And I knew it glued in the dark, and it would have the Avo Wash bath scent. And I was like, oh, okay, this will be, this will be fun to try out, blah, blah, blah. Um, I am finding, I am using this. I'm still, I'm like, maybe a little bit left on the bar that was given to us a little while ago but i had to pick up two more just to keep because it is incredible uh the smell uh the moisturizing uh i am finding right now my hands have been just cracking and they're gross and it is because the weather's changing and all that kind of stuff um but during our workouts that we do um i'm doing a lot of been doing a lot of bar work uh, a lot of um Olympic lifting, a lot of working on the bars and stuff like that. And my hands, they're getting, they're getting tough. They're getting more callous and stuff. And what I'm finding is that using this in the evenings, especially, um, just to give them a bit of a break, uh, this has been fantastic. So any guys out there that like to work out, um, or work with their hands a lot, this is going to sound really weird to say this, but get yourself a ghost in the dark soap from Lush. I, I'm swearing by it right now. Um, I have two right now and I'm kind of going hmm I think I might have to pick out another couple just before the end of the season comes however I do have the baked Alaska here which is kind of I am it's there's kind of a similar scent you can let me know is it are they supposed to be the similar scent these the ghost in the dark and baked Alaska are they supposed to be the same scent because I'm kind of sensing it um but it is it's really good um so there we go that's it that's all for today uh, I'm looking forward to trying these ones out, letting you know what I think. And uh, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and enjoy the weekend. Weekend's coming. Have a great one and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.